Hola. This is a religion. The Pope, at least in America, of the new religion is Anthony Fauci. We are now having papal like prayer candles, t shirts, and masks with his image on it. In Fauci, we trust. Team Fauci. Ladies and gentlemen who have not gotten it yet, Anthony Fauci is a psychopath. Hola, from Colombia. With the present great world confusion, I wish to do my part to accelerate the evolution of human consciousness. Please help by subscribing and sharing these videos. Thank you. The unconscious half of humanity is in mass hysteria. Mass hysteria is medically classified as mass psychogenic disorder, meaning it is a condition that begins in the mind rather than the body. Mass hysteria spreads like a contagious outbreak of fear, anxiety, and mania. Although there is no physical cause, the symptoms that manifest are often very real, including dizziness, vomiting, fainting, and dozens of other manifestations that have been documented. The main thing that happens with mass hysteria is that you stop thinking straight. So you have people who are perfectly healthy. They have the jab and become very ill. Some of their loved ones may even die. But at no point do they make the connection between the healthy, the jab, the severe complications, and the end. Therefore, they never point to the jab substance as the cause. Further, they cannot grasp that face diapers are very dangerous, especially among the young. We do not know the long-term complications that will result because of breathing in your own exhaled carbon dioxide, meant for plant growth and not for humans. There is no ability to grasp that the world sickness condition does not exist and the opposite is in fact the truth. In this mass hysteria, this psychosis, if the Pope Fauci does not say it, it cannot be true. I try not to judge because judgment is from the ego. I understand that Fauci is here, right now, playing a role. His soul, if he is human, agreed to play this role of a psychopath in order to wake humanity up out of its slumber in the illusion so that humanity is propelled to grow in consciousness, raise its frequency level, and transform into the next being, the divine being. Half of America thinks Fauci is a god, and the other half, who believes in accessing natural intelligence, sees what he is. I say Fauci may not be human. He may be a hybrid or an alien. And aliens do not have an individualized soul. Aliens, just like animals, have a collective soul called Deva. I have the honor to confront the leaf-cutting ants around here on the farm. Actually, my challenge with the leaf-cutting ants started in Costa Rica, and it only continues here in Colombia. The ants follow their species program to perfection. There is no intelligence behind their perfect organization and destruction of plants. They simply do what their species was programmed to do for their survival. Therefore, they follow their instinctual species program. They don't have an intelligent mind to use and think about how to do things. Having said that, they attack a plant in the most organized way. There is nothing random about their work. They finish this destroying all the leaves of one plant before moving on to the next one. But they definitely pick and choose the good leaves of the productive plants such as avocado trees or such an inchi. They do not use the leaves of the weed-type bushes. They only go for the best. 
Here is a picture of an avocado tree with leaves, and this one is an avocado after the leaf cutter ants attack. I will clarify that the tree does not die, but it is retarded in its growth because without leaves, the tree cannot produce. This is a vine plant attacked by the ants, and this is a tree in Costa Rica, completely naked. We recently encountered the actual nest, which is not easy to find, and the worker picked up the queen and his ants and squeezed her dead in front of me. There is, without a doubt, a perfect balance in nature, and now that I have encountered a good poison, which, when mixed with oats, it is carried by the ants into the nest. I trust that the species will communicate to itself through telepathic communication that they need to abandon this area and move somewhere else to do their work. Please read this text on the hundredth monkey phenomenon. I am certain that with time, I will confirm this universal perfection. This is also the method of the critical mass with which humanity will achieve transformation to the new divine species. Now, let's talk about aliens, who have a very high level of intelligence, but the same hive control, collective soul of the species, just like ants. Aliens have a highly developed intelligent mind, which clearly greatly surpasses the human intelligent mind. This is why they have controlled humanity throughout human history in one form or another, up until now. However, they know that humans have the unique ability to connect to an individualized soul, which they cannot do because they only have the connection to their collective soul, the Deva. They do not have an individualized soul. This is what makes humanity so special. There is a ton of superior intelligence in this universe, but only here on Earth, humanity is in the possession of an individualized soul. This is the perfect divine creation which was designed for humanity to be able to evolve into a conscious connection with the spirit. The time for this to happen according to the mother, Mira Alfasa, and Sri Aurobindo, is now. This leaves us, those awakening, those that are being targeted by the masses in the hypnosis of mass hysteria, to be strong, immovable, and totally steadfast in the face of this onslaught which is going to become way beyond even the hysteria which is building now. We must stand immovable, not accept the job, under any circumstances, because we must maintain our connection to our unique human individualized soul. We need a critical mass of individuals in action, consciously raising their level of consciousness to the point of reversal. I talked about the reversal of consciousness in my video, I Surrender to My Soul. Please consider listening to that video in its entirety. Infinite Love. Hola! The insanity continues to intensify and there is no end in sight. Please consider joining us in our consciousness community at the edge of the town of Popayan in southern Colombia. I believe that now many individuals are ready to leave their home country but just don't know where to start. There is absolutely nowhere to hide. Having said that, here in Popayan there is good food growth throughout the year. The temperate mountain climate is 23 to 26 degrees Celsius during the day and 15 to 18 degrees Celsius at night. 
and it is like this all year round, which makes everyday life very comfortable here. Please share this information with your friends and loved ones. Uprooting yourself is certainly not for everyone. I'm in the position to make this challenging process just a little bit easier. There's a guest house for a long-term stay. While you are looking for a property of your own, pets are welcome and there is internet. The airport, bus terminal and the city are just 13 kilometers away. I trust that my purpose is to create a consciousness community right here in Popayan. Will you find a way to join us in paradise on earth? I also consult by telephone and offer tools so that you can find your individual solution by making contact with your soul. Please share my videos so that this information can reach the individuals who need it. My contact details are in the description below, as well as the link to Cascada Café Retiro and my website. Finally, please subscribe to my Bitchu channel. All my videos are not available on YouTube. Infinite love.